Hey YouTube, WT here from the Coin Alley, and in this video update, I'll be talking with you guys about SegWit for Bitcoin and the support on the Trezor wallet. Stay tuned after the intro for more information. So a few days ago, Trezor announced that SegWit for Bitcoin was now available on the Trezor wallet. And I'll be showing you guys today how to convert your legacy accounts to the new Bitcoin Trezor in the wallet. Now, this conversion is optional. You do not have to convert your legacy accounts to SegWit, but there's certainly some benefits to doing so. And I'll outline those here shortly. So in order to take advantage of the SegWit for Bitcoin enhancement, you'll need to ensure that you have the most recent version of the firmware on your Trezor. And that firmware is 1.5.2. And most of you should have this update if you updated a couple weeks back to fix the potential um, security issue that Trezor had. Um, and you can, if you didn't check that video, you can click on that. I'm going to add a card um, to this video so you can access that video. So um, once you log into your wallet, uh, you will see your legacy accounts and they're all labeled as legacy and you might have gone through this process if you had converted your Litecoin um, legacy accounts over to the SegWit Litecoin on your um, Trezor. And it's this very same process if you've gone through that but if you're new to Trezor then I'll definitely show you how to do so. So why should I use SegWit? Well, your transactions definitely will be faster. So the transaction signing runs much faster, um, especially in accounts with many inputs. So if you receive mining payouts, um, or whatever to your um, Trezor, then um, converting to a SegWit account would be most beneficial. Of course, cheaper transaction. Um, SegWit transactions are counted as smaller and therefore they cost less. And of course there's definitely room for future ready enhancements. So for new second layer applications of SegWit that's definitely another benefit of updating your uh, Bitcoin account to a SegWit enabled account. Uh, question here is, do I need to update my Trezor? Um, if you've already updated your firmware, then you're all set. Nothing else needs to be done on your part. How do I move my Bitcoins to SegWit? Okay, so to benefit from the improvements, you will need to uh, first have um, first have to move your Bitcoins to your new SegWit account uh, with the new SegWit address. And uh, these addresses are different, so you may notice that uh, traditionally your Bitcoin addresses did start with a 1, and the SegWit addresses will start with a 3. And I'll show you that once I log into my Trezor wallet, and I perform the transfer of moving Bitcoins from the legacy account to the SegWit account talks about how to go through that process um, to move all your bitcoins you just simply go to the receive tab copy the receiving address verify the address use a, uh, utilizing the the show on Trezor function and then you can go ahead and transfer your assets here's a screenshot that shows you how to go about doing that um, you receive your your address and then you transfer it over. 
Um, as I mentioned before, your former addresses can be found on their legacy, and that's where you'll be able to see those. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how to go ahead and transfer your legacy balances to SegWit. Now, you will find a link to this article in the description, so you can always go back and refer to it um, at the conclusion of the video. That way you have something to refer to. All right, so let's go ahead and access the Trezor wallet. Let me enter my PIN number here. And then I'll show you guys how to go ahead and make the transfer. All right, so once you're in, there is legacy over here on the left hand side. It'll show all legacy accounts and it'll also uh, outline your balances. So I have two of them listed here on this particular uh, treasure and then I will transfer them over. Up here is your SegWit account. So first we'll click on that and then we'll click receive and there is that address with the three so this is your designation that it is a SegWit account and I'll go ahead and I'll copy it then you will let's start with this small account here There's a reminder here that it's a legacy account. This is a legacy account on your Trezor. Uh, if you want full benefit from new features, please move your coins. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit send. And then I'll paste the address. All right, so my balance is too small in this particular account, so it very well might not allow me to do that. Let me set my fee to low and see what happens. All right, so if I set my fee to low, I may be able to send it, so let's do that. And then on the Trezor, you will have to verify the transaction. So what you're seeing currently on, on my screen here, I'll have something similar on the physical Trezor, and I would need to confirm by hitting the Confirm button. And then you do that twice. It is now signing the transaction. As you can see, this is now zero, and apparently 13 cents was what arrived in the legacy account, probably after the fees. All right, well, let's go back here to the second account. And this one is currently holding, uh, what we got, 0 0.108. And we'll go ahead and we'll repeat the same process again. We'll send. I'll paste the address.
and I'll send the maximum or set the maximum send and I had it set to low but you can definitely set yours to whatever um, on high says there are not enough funds man how much are they wanting to s how much are they setting that fee for that's crazy hi huh I'll just go with low And then I'll send. I'll confirm it. Signing and sending. Left a little bit of a dust payment here. But up here you'll see that in my new SegWit Bitcoin account, I do have the funds that I just transferred. Very simple, guys, as you can see. I was able to do that here for you so you could see this process. So if you are holding a Trezor, then you can definitely go ahead and perform the same transaction as I've done. All right, guys, I hope you found this to be of use. You found this information to be very useful. Uh, if you did find it to be useful, please go ahead and click that uh, thumbs up. You know, click on that thumbs up button, pound that thumbs up button, um, pound the like button. And I really appreciate your continued support to my channel. All right, guys, until our next video, take care of yourself and each other. And I'll talk to you guys later.